Hey, Sean. Whoa, that is yeah. small. It's teeny, right? Oh my right? gosh, that is crazy it's small. Teeny. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah, it looks really good. That the looks pretty good. Oh, oh my so god. It's so smooth. That looks pretty good. That looks like real steady. That GoPro, watch good. out. Oh my. Hey guys, welcome to Rotorat. I'm Ladrib, and today we are taking a look at the all new DJI Action 2. So this is everything that you get in the box. You get a couple accessories that we'll get to in a minute. You get a screen with no lens. Oh, and another box that this one has a lens. So this is the actual camera and this is actually all you need to record. And that's what stands out to me immediately is just how small this is and yet it packs a punch. This little guy is capable of 4K and up to 120 frames per second. And most impressively to me, and specifically for our use on FPV drones, it has a field of view of 155 degrees, which I believe is wider than a GoPro or any of the other competitors. So that's what's got me most excited about this camera. That looks, that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, it looks really good. The that colors looks are good. beautiful. Oh, it's oh so God. smooth. That looks pretty good. That looks like real steady. That looks good. Yeah, that looked really good. Like if it looks as good as it looks on there on a, piece, on a computer. Yeah. That's a pretty severe crop though for the Horizon Steady. When you go from off to rock steady, you get a little bit of a crop. But when you go to Horizon Steady, oh yeah, that's significant. But wow, look how much it's you can crazy, tilt it. It's crazy though. Look yeah, how much you can that's tilt crazy. it. That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> Did it just flip when you got it all the way sideways? Yeah. So those are the two things I'm most excited about in this camera are that it is lightweight and it has an ultra wide field of view. Those two things are very important when you're using an action camera on an FPV drone, which is what we do here on Rotorite. We strap expensive cameras onto drones, do all sorts of crazy acrobatics, and crap. This is all you need to actually record. And something else that you'll notice when you're looking at it is there's no ports. There's no port to charge it. There's not even a slot for an SD card. So when you turn this on, you will find that it has a built-in battery as well as built-in storage. When set to 4K, you get just over 30 minutes of recording. If your intention is to use the camera just as this solo unit, you might have to find that you need to work around that 30 minute limit by uh, dumping your footage in the field formatting it and starting fresh. But if you do need more storage or more battery life than is built into the camera itself, this is a module that attaches to the actual camera and it clicks on just like that. Okay. And then that gives you your ports and your slots and stuff like that. And your like front that. screen. And a front screen. Ah. That's what I probably wouldn't want to fly like this. Definitely not for freestyle. Maybe, I mean, even at that, maybe on the Cinewub you could do this. Oh. It's still smaller than a GoPro Hero 9. But it's just so tall. Yeah. I don't, so I like you can put it sideways, I can't think, you? No, because then, then you're filming for TikTok. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 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 now you have extra battery life. You have a USB port and you have an SD card slot. And like I said, it's got a screen on it. So now you have a front facing screen. So what DJI was really going for here was the ability to strip everything down to be the smallest and lightest possible form factor while still being an incredibly powerful camera. And if you do need more functionality like an actual SD card slot, it's just kablamo. And I, I just love that function. It's magnetic, so it just kind of pulls itself on and then there's also clips on the side, so like it's pretty, it's pretty strong, but if you just squeeze the two clips, it comes right off. This magnetic clip system is how all the accessories for this camera work. These are the other things that you get in the box, so you get like this mount that you can screw onto a tripod, or I guess this is, so it can be its own little stand. You've got, so you can wear it. First person, Drew. <laughs> and then last in the box, you've got, I don't know exactly what this mount is called, it's basically the action camera mount. It will slot into and screw onto most all the action camera accessories that you may already own. GoPro accessories. This works with GoPro accessories. It's a GoPro. It's a GoPro, but better. I think it's potentially better. There's a lot of things I'm excited about here. What about that warranty at Best Buy? That's what, we're That's what we really, really, really want is that war Best Buy warranty. Is this gonna be for sale at Best Buy? Because you got DJI Refresh but I think it says, it says right on the box, good for three replacements. I'm like, what happens after that? I've replaced my GoPro seven times at Best Buy. Bleep that out. 
Another accessory that DJI sent us to take a look at is a simple battery accessory. This is nearly identical to the screen accessory, except it doesn't have a screen, but you get everything else. You get the USB-C port, you get the SD card slot, and you get more battery life. So like I said, here at Rotorat, we fly the finest in FPV drones, and to capture our flights, we need an action camera so that we can get a beautiful, high-resolution video to share with all you guys. And these drones are very powerful, super fast. I mean, you go from zero to 60 like that. They can turn on a dime, do power loops, and all sorts of flips and tricks. It's amazing, but to get the most accurate performance weight does matter and what we see from the other guys is while the cameras keep getting better and better image quality they're also getting bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier and it is a breath of fresh air to see DJI making a camera that goes in the exact opposite direction this just looks like it's supposed to be there. That is so slick. Anyone that's been flying FPV drones for a while will think of the GoPro Session, which was our favorite camera because it had a very similar form factor. It fit on the drones perfectly, but GoPro decided that the world didn't need a teeny lightweight camera without a screen. So again, it's really cool to see that segment being filled. You know, with these accessories though, I don't know how usable it's going to be on one of our drones. So, I mean, if you clipped on this extra battery, so you could have longer battery life and more storage space, I don't, I don't think that's a good fit. You're almost always gonna be flying it so low, which means you're just gonna have to work around the fact that you're not gonna be able to swap the battery out and you only have 30 minutes of record time. So maybe have multiple cameras or just have a laptop in the field so that you can dump footage and keep flying. It just comes down to a matter of deciding is the benefit of having the smaller form factor and the lighter weight for flight performance worth trading off the convenience of the GoPros where you can swap the batteries and swap the SD cards really quickly. Another drone that we might use this on would be like a, a more cinematic oriented drone. This is one of our CineWhoops. This has like the action camera mount that I was referring to. And when you're flying a drone like this, you're probably less likely to crash. I mean, when we're flying our five inch drones, we're trying to do freestyle tricks, so we're you know, really pushing the limit here. But on one of these, we're flying probably slower and in closer proximity. Like I said, on a drone, I'm gonna crash more often. Probably wouldn't wanna use uh, this mount. I'd wanna use a 3D printed mount that completely wraps around the camera and gives it some more protection against crashes and holds it really securely. But for CineWhoop flying where you're not crashing as much, that's probably fine and then you get the angle adjustability. So what I wanna do is take this camera out and try it on both of these drones. Let's see how it does on a CineWhoop, trying to get some slower, uh, really beautiful shots flying through a more enclosed area. And let's see what happens when we put it on our freestyle drones. How does it capture more fast, rapid movements? We're gonna show you the different field of views and when you might wanna have something a little narrower if it's more cinematic or more wide if it's more action oriented. We'll try it with and without the built-in stabilization to see you know, how does that work for the slower versus the faster flying. We're gonna put this camera through its paces and find out if this is the new best action camera for FPV drones. seen this face in a while, have you? Look at this tank right here. Oh boy. All right, I'm now flying over the airplane. It's a lot of money you're flying around. As far as I know, there's no way to do real steady on this. So whatever we can get on a rock steady is really as good as it can be possible with this camera. So I'm a little nervous about that. It might be amazing though, man. Judging from looking at the back of the screen, super stable. And yeah, there was times where was you saw in the really goggles, good. like I was making really yeah, I saw the a lot of adjustments and, and you didn't see any of that going through here. Even with yeah, the- I mean, you were keeping it pretty smooth. But even with the hole but, where I was yeah. going down and then right. I came up, you didn't see any like variation of like crazy like yeah, jitter or anything. Yeah, it smoothed it up. And that's time. my first time flying that quad that radio yeah. and those goggles. If Rocksteady was going to work, now's the time for it to work. Which is 
what you thinking, Drew? I'm just shooting gaps. In I like the... talking to people when they fly up. Shoot. Oh, there's if... a pole. Oh, I wonder oh. if that. Let's see if the rock steady the horizon. horizon lock. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Because you did a quick side to side. Yeah, to, to avoid the um, the wire. That's why we put him on there. You know, get the horizon lock. He makes a couple mistakes here and there. We get to see him. <laughs> oh hey, we got bowling alley here. No way. Oh yeah, I'm going viral over here. I'm going viral. <laughs> That was a lot of flying. Nine minutes. Nine minutes? <laughs> Do you think it's that much lighter? Yeah. That's why? Uh, yes, I think How it's that How many grams much is lighter? that lighter? No, this I know is, it's lighter. This is only I mean... 56 grams. And for a Hero 9, weighs 158 grams. Damn. That's so 100 this is grams nine lighter. Volts. Oh, it's nine volts? 9.10. Oh, yeah. I did destroy this battery. We should go to the trampoline park to try out the high frame rate. Because this can go up to 120 frames per second. I want to do a backflip. So, can you do a backflip? I don't, maybe I can. We're going to get an ultra slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Come out to the bando because we got a freestyle. It's pretty sweet. Now we're gonna risk the camera a little bit more and do our favorite thing: put it up on a five-inch quad. So See I'm how long it up. lasts. <laughs> Let's try not to crash. It's the only one I got. Like we're talking a hundred grams less. It's yeah, so much that's less weight. Yeah, I've gotten so used to carrying a big honking camera up here. Yeah, I mean it's also more aerodynamic if you think about it. That's right. session too, you know? style. We're back yeah. to the session. This is the form factor that everybody's been waiting for to come out, and I think it's even probably weighs less than the. Uh, session did. I don't know exactly what the best way to mount this is going to be, but this is what I've come up with, something that squeezes it. I'm going to do my pack without Rocksteady on because Rocksteady does crop a little bit. Okay. So I want to try and get just the widest possible thing. I want to he see everything. I want to... So I think this is going to look sweet with that really wide view. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. A little shaky, a little shaky. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to just full commit because I really don't want to crash this thing. And you guys want a trippy, I'll, I'll trippy. Oh boy, here you go. I mean, it's going to be a 60% trippy spin. See, there we go. Oh, oh, that lined up perfect. That lined up perfect. And then, perfect, yeah, and then we'll just back flip out the window. Uh, it wasn't bad. So you want Rocksteady on for yours? I want Rocksteady. All right, I'm gonna turn Rocksteady on. Rock and you can I'm Rocksteady. It did stop recording. It's still alive though. We got your whole flight. Woo! It looks so good! Oh, it looks so good! Oh, dude, Rockstar is the way to go. Cause yeah, it crops it a little bit. But it makes but... everything so crisp. Oh my god, this is awesome. I feel like it warps it even more. This looks so good. DJI Action 2, new most ultimate camera for FPV. What do you think? One thing I like is durability. Yeah. One you thing think it's I, pretty durable? I think it's pretty durable. Uh, one thing I don't like is that you can't have the external piece. 
you can only do while 30 flying. minutes of charging. Yeah, it is kind flying. of it is kind of difficult to like exporting it kind of in the field. Yeah. It's a couple of moving pieces. There's got a, a lot of moving extra pieces with it. Like a GoPro, everything's there. Bow, bow, bow. You can put as much footage as you want. You want to put a 128 gig SD card, you can film for days. Yeah. Where this is just a standard. This is what you get if you want to use it in the smallest form factor. It's just tough because for our specific use case, we always want the smallest form yeah. factor. So as of filming this video today on this firmware, we had to plug the camera into a computer to get the files off of it. I'm hopeful that a future firmware update would allow you to just plug in one of those modules and move the files from the camera to the SD card and the module in the field so you don't have to take your, your uh, computer out there and it can be a little bit faster of a project. And uh, I like process. that. I think that that's awesome. We're always worried about dumping footage, though. You don't want to lose this or lose that. Being as though if you bend your props up, you just go ahead and snap that onto the external piece, dump your footage. By the time your props are done, you put it back on it and you're back in the air. I love the way the video looks. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, the one thing I'm concerned about is the lens on the front and how it's not replaceable. I'm just worried about, Cricket said it was really good on durability. I think time will tell whether it can handle the durability that I need the type of flying that I do. A lot of crashing happens when I fly. So Best Buy. time will tell whether this thing can handle the durability test. I agree. I just love the image coming out of this thing. I think the color looks awesome. I think it's sharp. And I, I just love how wide the field of view is. It looks so good for FPV. One drawback I might see for some pilots is that you can't use Real Steady Go, which is a really great uh, post stabilization software with the built-in software that stabilizes you can't really tune and tweak it how you want like yeah. we can in the software on real estate you can go in and pinpoint yeah the you pretty you much want. just get rock steady on rock steady off horizon steady on horizon steady off however those stabilizations built in here are um, are really, good. really I, good i think that it's probably that. gonna be fine for like 90% of the time, but for those rare instances where you'd really like to use Real Steady, Real it would steady. be nice if, if you could use Real Steady on that. Yeah. So it's not a deal breaker. Um, I am gonna be using it a lot. I'm gonna see what it's like to actually live with it. Mm. If I continue to enjoy it as much as I did, given this first impression. Just, you gotta get it. it. I think it's it. I think all I need to do is just make a really big case for it, Jeez. and I'll be good to go. A hundred <laughs> grams lighter. A hundred grams lighter. That's a big selling point That's right there. Huge. What do you think? Is this the ultimate FPV camera? Leave a comment down below. What do you think? If you fly yourself, are you going to be switching to this? I don't know. I think it's got a pretty good chance of being popular. I think so too. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let us know you had a good time. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We're posting videos every Monday. We're always having fun with FPV drones. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, don't forget the, don't bell. Forget the bell. I'm LaDrib. I'm Les Flyer C. I'm Cricket. And we'll see you next time on Rotorize. <laughs>